Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to see you to see you yesterday's. Oh, getting bit by me. It's that time of year, isn't it? Ooh. Well, this is the first time this year that we've come to our little gobble, goblin rock hideaway. Bank holiday weekend, so doing a three nighter because yeah, we need it. But yeah, now as the weather's getting a bit warmer, the midges are out, are rife, and they're attacking us. Off them. <laughs> I just sent me. Can you see it there? What oh, where is it? Can't see it. It's that bloody camouflage. I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Everything's inverted, isn't it, when you're looking at this? So there's my little single man bivvy. I'm not putting the tarp up tonight because it's uh, hopefully going to stay dry. And it's supposed to be a forecast nice tomorrow as well. Uh, so, yeah. So it's amazing how quick you can set up your bivvy when you're getting bit to death. And I have used some smidge uh, insect repellent. But it's, um, I don't know if it's as good as jungle formula. I mean, this is it, this is it. Can you see that smidge? And um, I put it all in my dreads and my neck and they always seem to get you in the little eyelashes and all the little awkward places, don't they? All the places that irritate the most. But I've got this new chair and it's, it's like the other camp chairs that we've had but this it's from Aldi this 15 quid I mean you can't beat that chairs like this that go outdoors they're like 40 50 quid stupid and what I've found that normally happens with these is they, they puncture a hole through there and I must have first couple of times it was doing that I was just like chucking them away and then I thought nah the chair's all right it's just that little corner pocket that's punctured I need to come up with a solution so what I've been doing is cutting up some old jeans making a sort of pocket shape and pushing it in into the old pockets where the hole is with silicon in there as well so fill it full of silicon push the jeans in double them over so it's even thicker and then cover it in silicon and let it set and they, they've been working, so, I mean, even if it's just a temporary fix, it's it's a quick fix and it'll get you a couple of few camps, you know what I mean? And then I might have to do it again on one of the other pockets when that's gone. But, um, so we've got these anyway, we'll see how we got them with these. They seem a lot more um, heavy duty, these ones. So they're, they're, they're a little bit heavier because they're not aluminium. They're more like steel poles on these. Um... And the pockets, the you know, the corner pockets seem a little bit more heavy duty and well stitched in, and, but we'll see. But for 15 quid, you can't complain, can you? And I've already got like three or four that I've already repaired, so I'll probably bring one or two of them with me just as a backup, just in case these go. Um, but anyway, I'm getting a bit to death. The other chaps have just gone getting the rest of the stuff because we're on a three day camp, there's quite a lot of gear. And the, and the old uh, dick is not uh, what it used to be. I was proper out of breath coming up here. I'm feeling it as each kind of, as the months go by. I'm out trying to keep fit, but it's like a vicious circle. You're like getting out of breath and you're not supposed to do strenuous things until I've had this heart operation. But then you start losing your fitness and I don't know if it's the fitness I'm losing the fitness or whether it's the valve getting worse you know so i stopped a few times i didn't want to carry too much and push myself too hard and bless james and mike they're brilliant you know they've just said you don't carry anything you know we'll we'll make two trips <laughs> but i just feel like a burden you know what i mean i'm not used to this it was always me carrying james's stuff when he was a little and now he's looking after his old man <laughs> bless him anyway i think they're here Here's the chaps, look. Look at them. Where are they? 
in the <coughs> Good for Bloody God sends these two lads are bringing my stuff up, you know what I mean? But you know, we look after each other and I'd do the same for any of them if they were struggling, so anyway, gonna listen to the rugby now, it's Saints and Leeds tonight, so so hopefully we can tune into that and have a little drink in. These midges need to feck off though, they're doing my becking head in. <laughs> Let us. Hi chaps. It's alright, we'll bring all your, all your gear, you don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been telling the ladies and gentlemen what a godsend you both are. <laughs> <laughs> You've not done much, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I've set my bivvy up. <laughs> <laughs> need to get a fire going I think, get rid of these midges. Are they bad, Stu? Yeah, they were bad when I was setting my tent up. I've got some uh, joysticks. Oh, have you? I'll get nice. them back. I put some smidge on, but I, it doesn't seem to deter them. I didn't know if you wanted these, but brought two of them. Look at that, what a star. So, better off in a minute. Yeah, let's get some smoke and smoke these little suckers out. Yeah. See you later. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I reckon tomorrow get up, have some brekkie and that. Let's do the camp maintenance. Yeah. So I can get some firewood cut and all that. And then, like you said, if you want to go and flipping have a swim, let's go, let's go and have a fucking swim. Do whatever we, we like. You said we can't go and have a swim. We'll do whatever we like. The world's and, all and right. The beauty so... is we can leave our stuff up. We can do whatever we want to do. Of course we can. That's why we're here. I might fucking, I might get up in the morning, me, and just go barefoot and be barefoot all day. Yeah. I might go totally naked. Totally. And roll and roll around in in, in roll the roll around. It roll. Roll around <laughs> in the ground. <laughs> so are we thinking the hinge method's gonna come back into play tomorrow as well? I think we'd, we'd be a fool to dismiss it after yeah. our success. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Plus, you know, we could make a good fire. A good fire pit and leave it here, can't we? Of course, yeah. Because no one's coming here. It's not just going to leave no trace when there's all fucking this. Exactly. going on anyway. Yeah. And we'll we'll, we'll leave no plastic and anything, but fire pit, we may as well. Yeah, yeah. we'll leave nothing where animals and stuff can hurt the soil. We're all about nature. Well, this is the view. I'm waking up to this morning. Fucking don't tell them it is about that. friends back as well. Can see her in the cooking during the night. Oh I spotted a tree break there. Perfect tree break. Look at that. Mm. I'll have to investigate that later. What a place to wake up to though. A little shelter. Uh, I'll do a bit of grounding today, I think, while it's nice. Let's even see if we can find a little place to swim. Lovely job. this opportunity to do a little bit of grounding. <laughs> Although I am getting bit by midges. 
You've set the rough with the smooth, haven't you, I suppose? <sighs> Campers doing a bit of renovating on our shelter. So Jane, we've got this cord, this 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 wire was it's, it's plastic coated wire. <laughs> uh, just to put it simply. Because we wanted something that didn't rot over time because uh, originally obviously we didn't build this shelter and um it's got like paracord around these corners and it's holding these beams up and, and obviously the wood that's lay on top of them and it seems to be holding up but it, it will rot over time so we just thought we'd reinforce reinforce is the word James <laughs> it's a perfect word, isn't it? <laughs> yeah so we've got some it's like wire with nylon covered nylon covered wire and we're just going over it and then this tarp was already here and we decided we'd stick it up there. We've removed this, it was like a makeshift bench. It was just like that one. It was like that. But that one's more sturdy and we, and we actually justified using that. So got rid of that one. Yeah, we weren't using that. So we've, we've, Mike's dismantled it all. It's going to be a bit of a wood. A wood keep wood. the wood dry, please. We yeah. need a name for it. The wood storage area. It needs a nickname, doesn't it? Does, it? Yeah. Something that's got nothing to do with wood or drying. Exactly, yeah. We'll come up with something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's that's going to be the new wood drying area name here probably. And then um, that we're going to keep that because we it's good to put stuff on on top of and yeah, un underneath because put some fire logs under there and a few bits of stuff to just keep for next time. I thought each time we come up, we'll bring a bit more. Maybe tins and things like that, and then there's always some here when we come. Um, yeah, so the, the that dismantled bench is going to be, we're going to fill a few gaps on, on the actual where it leans to like that. So we thought we'd reinforce the corners, then we'll reinforce the sides, and then I think we'll try and find some stuff to cover it with, like moss and ferns and things like that. So that's our task for today. Good start to the day. Good start to the day. <laughs> this is another great feature about this little camping spot. <laughs> Running water. Oh, and after all them bloody... The renovating and the midgy bites. I'm just going to... Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, it's a bit of a shock to the system, but... Oh, it's, I can feel my feet getting better and I've got bit all over my legs with midgy bites. So I'm just going to bird them. Right, my theory is we stink of like shower gel and fucking deodorant and stuff. And so the more we smell like the forest, the less likely they're going to bite us. That's my theory. Am I right? <laughs> I think for a week before we come camping, we start soaking our clothing piss. <laughs> <laughs> piss and like sweat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so they won't bother us at all. Are you doing it, Jim? I am, yeah. It's cold, like. It's freezing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Very cold. I've got brain freeze in my feet. Oh. Mike's joined. Oh. Sweet mama. It's all about. Getting back to nature, isn't it? Oh, that's freezing. I thought I'd just document what we've just done so far with the shelter. So we've, um, this is Goblin Rock and we've took a bit of moss off the side of that. So this, we, I think we've confirmed this is Goblin Rock, haven't we, Mike? Yeah, I think it is, mate. It really is. Because Mike came here years ago, but he said it was just all rock. 15 years. 15 years ago. And it is all rock. It was just covered in moss. And we've used the moss to just build up the sides here just to give it a bit more waterproofing for our our wood collecting area which we've decided to call the Craig booth and uh, we've stacked a few more sticks up 
sort of long straight stick around just to give it a bit more shelter and a bit more rigidity and sturdiness and we've fastened up the corners a bit more so we've reinforced the frame a bit better and I think we forecast showers tonight so we've put a tarp over the top and just tied it with string because we'll probably take it down tomorrow and just leave it here you know so every time we come we've always got a little roof we can just put up come rain or shine you know so yeah it's a great little spot this so we're going to put our own little um tarps over the bivvies as well because i think we forecast rain tonight it's a shame isn't it i'm actually going to have a look at the weather you get bloody ace weather for a few days and then it goes shit again, doesn't it? Typical British summer. Anyway, just got to make the most of it, haven't you? But at the moment, our little cuckoo friend's come back, but I've um, not heard him yet. He tends to go off about three or four o'clock in the morning. Is this true, cool, Jack? Yeah. It's off the new album. Hey, you switch your lights on, man. Our reformed camp. Oh, so look at we, that. Should we take everyone round everything we've done to the... Yeah. Just I've, everything. So... I've been documenting it all. The, uh... Yeah. We'll just do an overview of everything. So we've got the... The bin bag of Gavis. Yes. And, um... What did we call it? Craig Booth. Craig Booth for, for, the, wood. for the wood. We are starting to get a little bit smoked out, but it was that wet crackle log. Yeah. The lights are starting to look nice. And we've got, um, should we tell the ladies and gentlemen yeah. about this rock? Yeah, I've we're got We're thinking I've... from where we're sat, it would look nice if there was a massive Sasquatch on there. Yeah. And wash the rock. So James came up with the idea of like, yeah, Clean the rock, yeah. paint it white, and then maybe put like a Sasquatch yeah. walking or doing even the a footprint or something. Yeah. You know, and then we planted our little project. Put the little seed. See if it grows. Yeah. Yeah. We're thinking get some poppy seeds, scatter them across yeah. the hill, make it look red. Call and, it. Um, don't they call it gorilla planting? <laughs> yeah, and you do. just scatter seeds and yeah. let them grow and. Uh, you never know, this hill might, might get some poppies growing, that'd be nice. But yeah, yeah, we were just thinking, this is our place now, so yeah. we're going to do what we want with it. Yeah. We're pimping it up. Oh, yeah. where's the look from here? Yeah, have a look, look at this. Look at this, everybody. Here. Look. I'll just pan round here. How oh, where's does that camp look? Let's go a bit further back. Look like Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, hey, these lads know it's what they're doing. It's almost as good as Ben Elton's We Will Rock You. Not bad. <laughs> and look at this sunset, everybody. We've done quite well for the weather. It's gone a bit cooler, but it's got rid of all the midges. We will rock you. <laughs> 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 I just put his head in that suit. <laughs> Not just for so we might get a bit of rain at midnight, but you can, as you can see, we're well equipped now. We've got the tarps up over the bivvies. We've got the tarp up over the shelter. Yeah, bring it on. Don't matter. I'll leave you with the sunset. Beautiful. Oh, well, it's the end of today's camp. So we've just tidied everywhere away now. Mike and James have just gone put, taking some stuff back to the car and then they're coming back to help, to help me again, thank, thank God. <laughs> so that's, see that? I think we're going to clean all that up and put a nice little motif on it. And um, there was a stone that, that was loose here. So we're thinking of getting one of them moon orbs, you know, that glow in the dark and shove it in there powers with a little power pack because that will be our view <laughs> when we're sat inside the shelter imagine that you know you've just got a little glowing moon there a little orb and we're just sat in here so like 
um, well hidden this place you know there's there is a sort of um, forest road over there but it's on the other side of that hill so nobody sees you you get the odd land rover going up there but other than that we're pretty much left alone and you'd never know when you're standing on that track you'd never know this shelter was here such is a good such a good find We've had a bit of rain this morning, but we've got a window, so that's why we packed up. So we're either going to go home or we're going to check out another place that we found on a map. Uh, it's got like a, there's a lake and a river running into it. It looks good on the Ordnance Survey map, but as always, <laughs> we look on a map and we think, oh, that's got to be perfect. And then when we get there, it's like, it's like, there's nowhere to camp, you know, and it's like, or oh, it's overgrown. Or you might see a lake and you get there and it's all dried up. It's just a swamp. It's quite often the case. But it's part of the fun, isn't it? Just keep looking and searching. And every now and again you find a little gem like this one. You know, so... I would advise anybody who finds a little gem like this, keep it to yourself. Just don't, um, don't show where it is. <laughs> because otherwise... It'll just get compromised and you get people turning up there and trashing the place and leaving rubbish. And, or when you get there after you've traveled and hiked and only to find that your favorite spot's been taken. Yeah, so uh, I'll check in with you in the next one. If it's a good place, I'll do some filming there. But until then, till next time, see ya.